This video will show you how to create an armor model which includes trends, level shifts and dummies. For example, if we consider this variable y, we might see uh, argue that it looks somewhat stationary except that it has a trend here, here, a large uh, outlier here and perhaps even a level shift. To model this we select model, model again and then we select single equation dynamic modeling using PCGIV and press formulate. I have already pre-specified two trends, a level and a dummy. You can watch one of the other videos to see how these are created. Then simply press OK, OK again and OK again. We now are given a model but what we are really interested in is actually the residuals. So we select model, test, store residuals in database and press OK. Then select it is the residuals we want stored and press OK. We choose to call these residuals residuals, so press OK. I already have a variable called residuals, so we need to override it, so press OK. Now we go into our data set and plot the residuals. As we can see, it looks like it's stationary. So it appears that including the trends, level shifts and dummies, will create a stationary process. So now we create the actual armor model. We do this by selecting model, model again, and then select our female models using PCGIV. Press formulate. Again, we include a constant, the two trends, the level, and the dummy, and we press OK. Then we need to select the armor model orders. I select a 2-2 model here, we need to remember to fix D at zero. Press OK. We then select to estimate it using maximum likelihood or whatever other method we prefer. Select OK. And we can see we're given a standard regression output with the AR, MA estimates as well as those of the constants, trends, little shifts and dummies. We can also get the usual uh, tests for the residuals by pressing model, test, to summary and press OK. And we can see that we can reject normality, arch or the Portman 2 test. This indicates that we perhaps have a well-specified model.